Mamma Mia is the typical Neapolitan exclamation for something extraordinary or very relevant, and it fits perfectly with learning about March 2024 turn-based RPGs, strategy games and roguelite releases. Get comfortable because we're starting. If you enjoyed 2022's Alina of the Arena, then Mortal Glory 2 will certainly be worth checking out. Recruiting and training a team of gladiators, you'll fight progressively trickier battles where terrain and positioning are key. Model Glory 2 offers tons of unlocks, letting you devise new combos with each run. You'll need them since the enemy AI is adept at using the terrain to its advantage. Can you add with your foes in the arena? I keep discovering how much has changed during my Outside of the Expeditions series, it's rare to see an RPG with a historical setting, especially one later than 1500 or so. The Thaumaturge is unique in this regard, putting players on a supernatural quest in Warsaw at the turn of the 20th century. Exploration and interaction with NPCs are essential, but you also be fighting dangerous spirit called Salders alongside mortal foes in turn-based battles. If you're a history buff or just want something a little out of the ordinary, the Tamadage could be just the game for you. Of course, it's not easy, as the border between Thaumaturgy and insanity can be ambiguous. How about a little game? You may think that in this world our actions are ours alone, but I tend to see it rather differently. Brave enough to cross even that final boundary? My name is Viktor Shulski, and you will soon learn what the Thaumaturge is really capable of. We are in occupied France. World War II games tend to focus on large-scale operations like Normandy or the Battle of the Bulge. Classified France 44 puts players in charge of smaller, but no less vital, covert missions in occupied France. And we will break them. Commanding a small squad of saboteurs sent to hide the French resistance ahead of the D-Day invasion, you'll hinder the German war effort by riding their airfields, supply bases and more. The XCOM style combat should be enough to entice strategy gamers of all stripes, even if World War II stories aren't your thing. As the commander, you hold the fate of a world, now teetering on the edge of darkness in your hands. Zoria Age of Shattering is shaping up to be the first great CRPG of 2024. An important milestone when last year gave us Baldur's Gate 3 and Rogue Trader. With its heavy focus on squad-based combat, Zoria feels a bit more like the latter, but offers a large fantasy world to explore that should satisfy Ballas Gate 3 fans looking for their next game. Zoria is a land where danger prowls around. 
Whether it's a humble camp in the wilds of Pyrun or a sword class frigate in the Coronus Expanse, CRPG gamers are falling in love with their in-game homes. Zoria gives players an outpost that they need to manage and upgrade, giving them a place to return to after their battles are won. Your duty is to unearth the mysteries of civilization. Best of all, party members can be sent out on missions of their own, so they aren't just waiting around when they aren't on your team. Bear in mind, your choices carve out the future. Strategy, management, careful preparation. These are your tools for survival in the world of Zoria, Age of Shattering. Missions from the mighty Empire's Dominion. Customize your troops. Console gamers are in for a turn-based threat with Vanillaware's upcoming strategy title, Unicorn Overload. With combat that is inspired by, but distinct from, Fire Emblem and Ogre Battle and Vanillaware's gorgeous art style, Unicorn Overload should have little trouble carving out a space for itself among the giants. Launching March 8. Goblin's world is full of peril. And there are many With its storybook style and adorable animations, Goblin Stone looks to be a fun, whimsical roguelite. After being hunted nearly to extinction by zealous adventurers, you'll lead the last of the goblins on a journey to reveal their species and find a home. Goblin Stone has already gathered an impressive collection of awards for its style and storytelling, so we are exciting to try the game when it launches this month. Goblins may be small, but in battle they are not without merit. The Great Goblin Lair, a tranquil home for goblins in the twilight of their lives. The goblins summon their courage and attack. The road is long and the world vast. But within each story lies a hidden tale. The time of the goblins has finally come. If Core Keeper was a grim, turn-based RPG, it might have looked something like Subterran Minds of Titan. Coming out of stasis in an abandoned mine millions of miles from Earth, you have to navigate and survive the hostile environment. As you find a reactive old equipment, you'll discover the secrets of what happened in the mines and maybe even find a way to escape. This alternate history tale of the Hundred Years' War presents a grim and greedy world filled with tactical greed-based combat. Players manage a small castle and the soldiers in its service, marching out to thwart a mysterious conspiracy known only as the Order. While the conflict between England and France is used as more of a backdrop, to tell Crown War's own story, players who know something of the period will find cameos from historical and legendary figures throughout the game. Good morning, high water dwellers. High water pirate radio keeping you in the know with our flow. 
Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville Formerly a mobile exclusive, High Water, a story of survival in a world flooded by climate catastrophe, is coming to PC. It plays like a point and click adventure with turn based combat that's just as much a puzzle as the rest of the game's challenges. As Nikos and his companions, you'll explore the ocean in search of the haven of Alphaville, where it's rumored that the ultra rich are planning to leave the doomed Earth for Mars. We'll have to fight, sneak, and think their way about the ship to have any hope of a future. The Legend of Legacy flew under a lot of players' radar when it first launched for the 3DS in 2015. Now, with the success of games like Octopath Traveler, Nis is revisiting this JRPG tale of interwoven fates. Like Octopath, The Legend of Legacy follows the merging paths of seven heroes exploring a mysterious island. If you missed this charming adventure the first time around, the HD remaster is the perfect second chance. There are tons of roguelite deck builders out there, so it takes a little something extra to set a new game apart from the pack. Breachway has some impressive visuals for its spaceship combat, which it turns out is just the thing it needs. Whether you like starship design or optimizing the perfect deck, Breachway lets you create your perfect vessel as you explore a style galaxy. It's the first title from Edge Flow Studio, so we are excited to see what else they come up with in the future. It's all about this fight for history and who can control it. It had to happen eventually. Millennia is a historical 4X strategy game in the vein of civilization published by Strategy Titans Paradox. While it should be noted that Paradox is only the publisher and Millennia is developed by C Prompt Games, there's no denying that this is a game for any strategy fan needs to try. I think a history buff could get excited about... It's unlikely that Millennia will usurp the throne from civilization, a task that's proven unique, impossible time and again. How the timeline goes every time you play. You could go into a crisis age, like the age of blood, and immediately... Games like these are important because they bring fresh ideas that keep the genre growing. 
no doubt, will be sinking countless hours into it at the end of March. You can cut that tree down and make logs, but you could also take that tree and turn it into paper, which can be used to make books and religious texts. It always feels like there's something new going on in Millennia. It's been really rewarding to see players get into ages for the first time. When we hear somebody talking about their experience in the game. I got into the Age of Revolutions and all these rebels appeared out of nowhere. And that's exactly what we're trying to build. We bring in experience and knowledge of how to create great games. The only way that we know how to build games is to build games that we love to play. Each game will be unique. It makes replays a lot of fun. It's not infinitely replayable, but I did the math and it's a really high number. Players are defining the ages. They're shaping the course of history. That's what Millennia is. Felbidek is a solo project that builds simultaneously retro and modern. It uses classic JRPG gameplay to tell the story of Pavel, a knight in the 15th century Slovakia. Its limited color palette, combined with hand-drawn character art, gives it a unique look. Pavel might just be one man, but he'll gather his allies to fight off the invaders of his homeland. The game's description hints at surreal horrors, but only playing the game will tell how that factors in. Here. Let me know what you think about the March 2024 releases in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and also consider supporting us through all our pages. Wish you the best. Ciao.